If you are struggling with constant, unwanted, intrusive thoughts about your partner's past relationships and or sexual history, chances are good you're suffering from something commonly referred to as retroactive jealousy, also known as retrospective jealousy, and retrograde jealousy. Maybe you just discovered this term, maybe you've known about this term for a while, maybe you've been struggling very briefly, maybe you've been struggling for years. The point is, I want to make it clear in this video, that you have multiple time-tested options for healing, and there is a way to get through this, there is a way to let go of your partner's past, and that's exactly what I'm going to talk about in today's video. My name is Zachary Stockel, and since 2013, I've been helping men and women from all over the world overcome retroactive jealousy, overcome obsessive jealousy, and save their relationships. If you'd like to work with me one-on-one, -on -one, or you'd like more information about my work, please visit my website at retroactivejealousy.com. First off, I want to make it clear that overcoming retroactive jealousy, in other words, overcoming unwanted intrusive thoughts, often obsessive curiosity, and what I call mental movies, about your partner's past relationships and or dating history, overcoming retroactive jealousy is a huge topic. It's actually a really complicated issue and there's a lot to cover. Needless to say, I'm not gonna be able to cover all of it in today's video, but if you want more resources on this topic, please be sure to visit my website at retroactivejealousy.com or click a link in the description. Again, I've created so much content on this topic, there's so much to get into. So as soon as you get the time, I'd recommend taking a look at my other resources. But for now, how to get started letting go of your partner's past. The first tip I wanna offer is in some ways the most important. And it's an idea that really takes some people a long time to grasp. And the longer it takes you to grasp this idea, the longer it will take for you to really start healing, to really start feeling better. My first tip is to stop energizing intrusive thoughts. To make this even more clear, I'll give you an example. Let's say I have an unwanted intrusive thought about my wife's past. Maybe I'm thinking about her and her former lover from years ago. Maybe I'm even picturing them in bed. Obviously, that's really unpleasant. I don't want to be thinking about this. So one way to respond to that thought is by energizing it with more emotions, more emotional energy. In other words, feeling resistant to that thought and getting angry about having the thought or maybe getting sad or frustrated that I'm having the thought and telling myself I'm never going to get over this and what if she prefers her ex to me and what if I'm struggling with these thoughts forever and I can't stop thinking about it and it's, I'm so frustrated and angry. You're having an emotional response to the thought instead of simply observing it. So the opposite of energizing these thoughts is to simply observe and get back to whatever you're supposed to be focusing on. Get back to your day, get back to the tasks at hand. Now, obviously, this is easier said than done. There are multiple ways you can learn to stop energizing unwanted thoughts, such as mindfulness meditation, such as brain redirecting activities. There's all kinds of things that you can do, and I cover many of them in my online courses, in my books, and my website at retroactivejealousy.com. But for now, I simply want you to think about this idea of changing your response to unwanted intrusive thoughts because that is really where your power lies. It isn't about forcing yourself to, to have a positive attitude or forcing yourself to think differently or forcing another thought into your head when you have an unwanted thought. So much of your success when it comes to overcoming retroactive jealousy involves changing your response to unwanted intrusive thoughts. And the longer you practice this and the more diligently you practice, obviously this will get easier and easier and easier over time until you reach a point where you're not even thinking about it you might get an intrusive thought and it doesn't even phase you. You don't have a moment's reaction to it. You simply go back to your day. It becomes automatic. So that's my first tip. Resist the temptation to energize intrusive thoughts. My second tip is probably just as important, in fact. My second tip is to resist a victim mentality. It's so common for someone to be struggling with their partner's past, to be struggling with unwanted intrusive thoughts, to feel hopeless. And to kind of sink into this victim mentality where you feel like you don't have any control over your brain, you don't have any control over your reactions, you don't have any control over the past, you don't have any control, you're totally hopeless, you're a victim. Buying into this mentality is the road to hell. Buying into this mentality will keep you suffering for months or even years longer. You have to resist a victim mentality. Realize that you have zero control or influence over the past, you have zero control or influence over the future directly. All you can control is your thoughts, your actions, your responses in the present moment. Your power is in acknowledging that the present moment is all that exists. This is all that exists. And thus you can make of the present moment whatever you want. This sounds cliche, this might sound corny, some of you may be rolling your eyes. I don't care because it's true. The way to overcome a victim mentality is to realize that the present moment is all that exists and in the present moment, you have tremendous power and opportunity. On a closely related note, my third tip for you is to gather and then remember your options. 
So by your options, I mean different perspectives you could be taking when it comes to looking at your partner's past. Maybe meditation or mindfulness techniques, many of which you can find for absolutely free on YouTube. There are many books you can read specifically related to overcoming intrusive thoughts, overcoming retroactive jealousy. Shameless plug, I wrote that book. You can find that on Amazon. There are numerous videos for free on my channel, hundreds and hundreds of free videos where you can find all kinds of options to help you overcome intrusive thoughts and curiosity, overcome mental movies in the moment. The point is you need to remember that you have options. And the more of these options you gather for techniques with dealing with intrusive thoughts in the moment, different perspectives maybe you can take in your partner's past, different activities you should be engaging in to maximize your chances of success, maximize your chances of overcoming retroactive jealousy. The more you gather and reflect on your options and always remember that you have options, the less likely it is that you'll buy into this victim mentality. So spend some time gathering different options, different mindsets, different techniques, different tools. And then crucially, when you have those dark moments, when you have those moments where it feels like you can't let go of your partner's past, remember your options in the present moment. Reclaim your power, and this is the way to do it. And finally, my final tip for you, I recorded a video on this just uh, not long ago. Maybe you saw it already. But a big tip, if you have any kind of anger or, or frustration around this issue, or maybe some kind of anger you're holding towards your partner, remember that holding on to anger is like drinking poison and hoping someone else dies. Anger only hurts you. And forgiveness is not necessarily about letting other people off the hook. It's about giving yourself permission to be happy. I'm not saying you don't have reasons, perhaps, to be angry or frustrated or hopeless or whatever. I get it. I've been in those situations. I know what it's like to struggle with this issue. However, the longer you remain wedded to your anger in a certain sense, the more you resist letting more anger go, the more you resist embracing the notion of forgiveness, the longer you'll suffer and the longer this issue will plague you. Again, maybe for more months, years, or even decades. So remember, anytime you feel angry or frustrated, number one, stop energizing that emotion. Try to resist your response to your anger. Try to resist your response to feelings of frustration or hopelessness. And remember that you can simply choose anytime you want to take a very deep breath, the more you can breathe and let it go moment to moment. Forgiveness is about practice. It's not like some passive thing that you just wait for, you know, the feeling of forgiveness to fall from the sky. Forgiveness is an ongoing practice. And the more you forgive yourself and others, the happier you will be. And the greater your odds of beating retroactive jealousy for good. But again, before I let you go today, I've got so much content on this topic that I would love to share with you. And if you visit my website at retroactivejealousy.com, I'll send you a free four-part mini course. You can subscribe and unsubscribe anytime. It's absolutely free. A free four-part mini video course that will help you get started overcoming retroactive jealousy will help you get started letting go of your partner's past as soon as possible. If that sounds interesting to you, please click a link in the description for all the details about signing up for my free four-part mini course on getting started overcoming retroactive jealousy. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching this today. If you got anything out of this video, please take a minute to let me know by clicking the like button below. I'll also ask you to subscribe to my channel to be notified of new videos moving forward. And finally, while you're at it, please leave a comment beneath this video as well. Tell me what you think. Good, bad, ugly. I would appreciate your feedback. Thanks again, and I'll talk to you soon.